tonight we're still camping in a corn maze seasonal now we just have to get there because it's seasonal i've been bushwhacking for a few minutes it's right up over this hill ah. trying not to get my feet wet but it's mud butt brooks back here i gotta find a better way in I don't want anyone up top to be able to see the corn moving like that, so I've got to kind of choose my steps carefully. It's also very mud butt brooks in here too. I tried to dress in neutral fall colors. It's windy, so now I can probably go. Okay, so now I'm on an actual trail. Set my stuff down and do some exploring real quick. Just try and get a feel for where it would be best to set up. I don't want to be seen in here. I'm at the bottom of a hill and there's a nice overlook at the top. So there's plenty of people around. It's peak foliage. And this is like a very scenic spot. People come take photos all the time. It's open to the public, at least like a portion of it is. So I gotta definitely lay low for a while. Kind of sketchy, a little sketchy. It is kind of spooky in here, not gonna lie. Sorry if I'm talking quiet. I just don't want anybody to know that I'm in here at all. The maze is closed today, so I'm not supposed to be in the maze. That's why I came today. Yes, yeah, so you hear people back there? I hope the camera could pick that up. You probably could. I just need to get to my spot and, uh, I'm just trying to listen as well. All right, so I need to know which way I came in here from. I'm not necessarily lost already, but I'm kind of turned around. If someone's coming after me, I honestly have no choice but to kind of just surrender because I had to hike probably two miles to get in here. And going through this corn to get back to the woods is not gonna be stealthy at all. It's loud and obnoxious, so didn't necessarily think that one through in the in the planning stages but I'm gonna be hesitant to even want to turn on my light tonight because the top of the hill is the high ground if anyone's looking down in here and can see my light they're like why is there a light in the maze especially if I turn it on then turn it off all seriousness I was gonna have Matouche make an appearance tonight and like chase me through the corn maze if you don't know who Matouche is, go back and watch the Stealth Camping in an Ice Cream Parlor video. It's like three or four videos ago. Go back and watch it now so you know who Matouche is and you'll know why I planned to do a Matouche chase in the corn maze, because it's spooky. That's who Matouche is. Spooky cornfield season. But yeah, I wanted to have Matouche chase me through the corn maze and I don't think, let me be clear, obviously that's not stealthy but I don't think I don't think that's a good idea here right now I didn't think I would have to be as stealthy here just due to the nature of I mean look at me I'm completely surrounded by corn but I feel like I have to be extra stealthy because there's all kinds of people around and seeing me in this corn maze is not going to Not a good look. I kind of feel like trapped, like suffocated in here, like 
claustrophobic. It's so loud. And it's windy out, so I'm trying to only move when it's blowing wind, so it's like going with it. I don't want it to look like something's walking through the corn. By the way, this is a good time to mention, if any of you have ever seen the movie Signs, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie with Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix, where they live on a farm in rural... Spooked as I say that. I'm gonna be spooked all night. Spooky. They live on a farm in rural Pennsylvania and crop circles form and appear all over the world and aliens attack, go watch it. It's one of my favorite movies, but also traumatized me as a child seeing that and cornfields are like the main element of that movie. This was definitely on my list, but also definitely not even joking, like I'm spooked. There's no aliens, but, or maybe there is. Let's make dinner. Nutritious. Alright, real dinner time. I'm already covered in mud. Basically gonna be sleeping in the mud too. I knew I was gonna have to hike in here pretty far to actually access the maze from the woods. So I did not want to carry in a bunch of food and a heavy meal and whatnot. So tonight we're just making a it's like a spicy Asian ramen bowl. I've had these before. They're like 99 cents at Walmart and they're pretty good. So this jet boil in a water, boil up the water and it's ready in five minutes. So Wait for that to boil. Pour it in the bowl. Let it uh, let it ferment a little bit of accoutrement. We let it vent. We let it boil. We let it steam. We put in the seasoning packet. Am I British or French or Indian? I do not know, but it is a very spooky meal in a spooky cornfield. It's gonna be fun. So if you can believe it, this is already Stealth Camp Wednesday number nine. Really appreciative for all of you that are here with me right now. It only takes 11 seconds. Right down here, right below me, there's a little button that says subscribe. It looks like a sausage. Click subscribe, you get your sausage. Near the sausage, there's a little bell. You click the bell, you get your peppers. Whenever I put up a new video, you get to see it first. You get your first serving of sausage and peppers. Please subscribe. Sausage and peppers, you know what I'm trying to say. Thank you. Now we let it ferment for five minutes and we got dinner. That is very good, the accoutrement. There's just noise constantly coming from every direction. It's kind of like, kind of like a white noise, I suppose, but it's also like disorienting because I'm trying to like listen. You know what we're gonna do just for fun? This is still steeping or boiling, but just because we're here, I'm gonna throw a few corns in it. Why not? the time is make the man not the other way around you got the corn I got the soup I'm gonna make corn soup when a corn field I gotta eat the corn probably a terrible idea but I'm willing to live with that See the little corns in there. Little corns. I'm going to devour this. Solid. 
I didn't bring a tarp because it wasn't supposed to rain. Then the forecast changed. The only reason I checked the forecast is because driving here, I saw storm clouds. But when I woke up this morning and checked, it said 12% chance of showers. A couple of the little corns. They're hard. Tastes like corn, though. Pack it in, pack it out, pick up litter. Be a nice guy. That's what I do. So now we chill for a while. Luckily for as late as it is in the season, we just had our first frost three days ago. And the next day, immediately following, was our Indian summer. I won't be freezing myself to death. Hey ho are ya, hey ho are ya, hey ho are ya, hey ho are ya. Spooky. I swear, every stealth camp I do, it's like a theme that there's people walking their dogs where they shouldn't be. And yes, I include myself in that sentence, even though I'm not walking my dog, I should not be here. I just attract dog walkers. And every time I'm trying to lay low and just do my thing, there's people walking their dogs like they own the joint. The golf course did not turn out well for me because of a dog walker. Yeah, I really don't know how I'm gonna turn my light on tonight because I do not want to be seen in here at night at all. If someone up the hill looks down in here and sees any kind of light going on or off or just on in general, they're gonna immediately know somebody's in here. So. I think I'm going to try and unroll and just tuck in right here so I'm not severely obvious in case anyone comes walking through here. I crawled in here pretty deep off the main maze path. I just really didn't want to sleep out in the open on the main trail just in case. All my stuff still has a lot of sand on it from the golf course. My sleeping bag and thermarest are both covered in it. I hear somebody coming on a quad or a side by side. from me. Hang on. They're literally like right there. I'm still in here. And I looked at the map of this place several times to get here. I keep hearing people very close by and those side-by-sides and machines have went by several times. I looked at the Google map again. The people that own this farm, their house is actually here. It's not just farm hands that are here. The people that own and live on this farm are actually a hundred yards away. So I'm gonna bail. Cause the last thing I want is to get shot or be seen out here in the middle of the night and people wonder what the hell's going on on their property. That's a really easy way to get killed. 
Because I hear people talking and they're not far away. I looked at the map and yeah, their house is literally right there. It's just not worth the risk. Those are flashlights. I can't film now because the screens are on. Those are flashlights. And I hear people talking. They're like less than 100 yards away. So now I gotta sneak out of here while the wind is blowing so they don't hear me moving through the corn. Get back through the woods to the surface road to get out of here. Do you hear the side by side again? They're roaming around here for some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm in here or not, but I'm not taking the risk. I knew this place was commercial, but I didn't realize their house was right there. There's a big row of trees. The house is right behind it. They got a pool, a tennis court. They're rich. I did not know they lived here, and I'm not going to get caught in their backyard. That's a good way to get shot. They're close. They're really close. I'm literally shaking. I'm not scared of getting caught. I'm scared of getting caught by homeowners in the middle of the night, so I just got to get out of here. I think they're looking for me. I promise you I didn't plan this to end up like this. Oh crap, that's the side by side. That's the side by side, it's close. I gotta get the hell out of here now. They're driving around in the side by side. the cornfield but now I gotta cross a road and go back into the woods. There's lights on back there. Do you hear them in the background? I just gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, I gotta go. Still going around the property. I'm in the woods. Oh. Okay, they're coming down here again. This, I don't know why this, okay, hang on. I think I'm technically off their property now, but it's pitch black and I'm in the woods. And yeah, their back porch is right at the corner of that corn maze. I kind of want to show you on the Google map, but if I show you on the Google map, then it's going to be giving away where I was. I'm just not comfortable sleeping in somebody's backyard. If it were me and I saw somebody in my backyard with a flashlight late at night, I'd be outside with a weapon and it would not, I'm not gonna puff my chest. It just wouldn't end well. It wouldn't be a good situation. Someone's on your property in the middle of the night and you don't know what they're doing. I think that gives you the right to uh, give them some business. So I'm, yeah, I just gotta get out of here. I gotta cross this creek, try and get across these logs. I'm like thick in it. I'm deep in it right now. I had to turn it on because I don't know where I'm going. I just nutted myself. Oh my god. Uh, I fell on this log. Oh, oh I just nutted myself. Oh. Oh. Two weeks in a row of nonsense. I can't. This. Uh oh. Alright, the side by side's coming around again. I gotta move. Alright, hang on. I gotta get out of here. Alright. I'm back on this road. It splits the difference between this really rich neighborhood and one of those cellular or 5G electrical towers. So if anybody asks what I'm doing here, I walked in to take photos of the leaves. I didn't see any private property or no trespassing signs, and it is a road. This is two weeks in a row of nonsense. I feel like an idiot, but I'm not, it's not worth the risk to me when there's people running around in their own backyard. Once that side-by-side -side went by, I looked at the map again, wondering where that came from, because the farm and apple orchard, all that stuff itself, is kind of consolidated to one little area, and I was nowhere near that. So once I looked at the map and saw that I was clearly, no joke, if not within a couple hundred feet of somebody's actual backyard, that's a no-go. Definitely a no-go. I don't mind messing with Walmart or sleeping in a train car, which you'll see Probably next week I'll post that, but somebody's personal property and backyard is not a joke. I've got to do better. 
last week was fun and funny because because the cops came and I'm running and it was adrenaline and blah 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 I just wanted to get out of there but this was a total lack of oversight on my part I should have looked at the map better it's late in the evening now and I'm walking two miles back to my car I think my leg is bleeding I nutted really hard on a log that broke underneath me poor planning even worse execution I apologize to all of you for the fail I hope you'll stick with me. Plain and simple me being an idiot, not knowing exactly where I was at. Yeah, I feel like an idiot. I feel like a dumbass. Poor planning on my part. I feel like an idiot. I feel like I'm letting the audience down. I guess right now my list is dumpster redemption. I got caught. Golf course redemption. I almost got caught. And now corn maze redemption. I feel like an idiot. I put in all the time, all the effort, film all that, set up the camera, drove a half hour. And now I'm just heading home. And I only now just kind of get it, the analytics, the the ins and outs of not just posting videos, but making them quality, helping to push them organically, all that other stuff. And I'm on a roll, but stuff like this keeps happening and I'm not proud of it. I want to do better, I will do better. I guarantee you the next several videos will be top tier quality. We're actually going to stay where we're intending to stay. And if something beyond our control happens, it won't be because I accidentally went and slept in somebody's backyard. So again, I'm not gonna get caught in somebody's backyard at two in the morning just being a goofus. So we're gonna leave. That was stupid. That was really stupid. So I wanna be badass. I wanna do funny, cool, push the boundaries things, but that's pushing it a little bit too far. And I'm not willing to, uh, not willing to take that risk knowingly. If I would've just stayed there all night and had no idea I was this close to somebody's back porch. Again, sorry for the letdown. And we'll catch you on the next one. It's just not worth the risk. Not worth the risk.